Hey guys, it's Lady J. Welcome to my channel. So this is my first ever makeup tutorial. It's inspired by Poison Ivy. If you don't know her yet, please watch this till the end because I will tell you about her. Poison Ivy's real name is Dr. Pamela Lillian Isley, a PhD, a Gotham City botanist. She grows up wealthy, with emotionally distant parents and later studies advanced botanical biochemistry at the university with Alec Holland under Dr. Jason Woodrow. Isley, a shy girl, is easily seduced by her professor. Woodrow injects Isley with the poisonous toxins as an experiment, causing her transformation. She nearly dies twice as a result of these poisonings driving her insane. Later, Woodrow flees from the authorities leaving Isley in the hospital for six months. Enraged at the betrayal, she suffers from violent mood swings, being sweet one moment and evil the next. When her boyfriend has a car accident after mysteriously suffering from a massive fungal overgrowth, Isley drops out of school and leaves Seattle eventually settling in Gotham City. She begins her criminal career by threatening to release her suffocating spores into the air unless the city meets her demands. Batman, who appears in Gotham that very same year, forged her scheme, and she is incarcerated in Arkham Asylum. From this point on, she has a kind of obsession with Batman him being the only person she could not control due to his strong will and focus. Over the years, she develops plant-like superpowers, the most noticeable being a lethal toxin in her lips. She is literally able to kill with a kiss. In subsequent issues, she states that she only started a life of crime to attain sufficient funds to find a location to be alone with her plants and disturbed by humanity. A few years later, she attempts to leave Gotham forever, escaping Occam to settle on a desert island in the Caribbean. She transforms the barren wasteland into a second Eden and is, for the first time in her life, happy. It is soon firebombed. However, when an American-owned corporation tests their weapon systems out on what they think is an abandoned island, Ivy returns to Gotham with a vengeance, punishing those responsible. After being willingly apprehended by Batman, she resolves that she can never leave Gotham, at least not until the world was safe for plants. From then on, she dedicates herself to the impossible mission of purifying Gotham. At one point, Batman travels to Seattle to ascertain information on Pamela Isley's life before she became Prison Ivy. Here, Batman states that both of Pamela's parents are dead, and when and why they died has been left undetermined. While in Arkham, Poison Ivy receives a message through flowers that someone is to help her escape. That night, two women, Holly and Eva, successfully break Ivy out and bring her back to their employer. She is less than happy to discover that it is the Floridic Man, formerly known as Dr. Jason Woodrow, her former college professor that conducted the experiments in her. The only human portion 
of him remaining is his head, while the rest of his body is plant paste. After striking a deal with him in the tunnels of Gotham, Ivy receives a trunk full of money in return for samples of her DNA. Woodrow intends to con combine their DNA to create a child, all while flooding the streets of Gotham with high-grade marijuana. The purpose of this is to create a world economy run on hand and to have their offspring control it. Batman intervenes, but is overcome by Woodrow's henchwomen, Holly and Eva. However, Ivy turns on Flarnik Man and lets Batman go to fight the intoxicated maniac. In the end, Batman decapitates the Flarnik Man and Ivy escapes with her money. At times, Ivy demonstrates positive and maternal traits. When Gotham City is destroyed in an earthquake, and declared no man's land, she holds dominion over Robinson Park and turns it into a tropical paradise rather than fight over territory like most of Batman's enemies. Sixteen children who are orphaned during the quake come to live with her as she sympathizes them, having suffered a traumatic childhood herself. Batman originally intending to take the orphans away from Ivy, recognizes that staying with her is what is best for them and they remain in her care until the city is restored. Also, a part of a bargain to give her freedom. Batman arranges it so that Ivy provides fresh produce to the starving hordes of earthquake survivors. Soon after, Ivy finds Harlequin who had almost been murdered by the Joker, among the debris of the earthquake and nurses her back to health. The two have been best friends and partners in crime ever since. After Gotham City is reopened to the public, the city council wants to evict her from the park and send her back to Arkham Asylum, as they are uncomfortable with the thought of a psychotic eco-tourist controlling the equivalent of 30 odd square blocks. They also mistakenly believe that the orphans in Ivy's care are hostages. The Gotham City Police Department threatened to spray the park with RC-60, a powerful herbicide that most certainly would have killed every living plant in the park, including Ivy, and more than likely do harm to the children. Ivy refuses to leave the park to the city and let them destroy the paradise she created, so she chooses martyrdom. It is only after Rose, one of the orphans, is accidentally poisoned by Ivy that the hardened echo tourists surrender herself to the authorities in order to save the girl's life. Batman says that as much as she would hate to admit, Ivy is still more human than plant. Later on, she and other Gotham character are manipulated by the Riddler and Hush. Her task is to hypnotize both Superman and Catwoman, using Catwoman to steal ransom money from Killer Croc after the original plan is interrupted by Batman while Superman serves as a bodyguard when she hides in Metropolis. However, she abandons Catwoman to be killed by Killer Croc and Batman is able to keep Superman busy in a fight long enough for the Man of Steel to break out of the spell. Soon afterwards, the Riddler, who is being chased and attacked by Hush, approaches Ivy and seeks her protection. Poison Ivy comes to believe that her powers are killing the children she looks after. So, she seeks Bruce Wayne's help to reverse her powers and make her a normal human being once more. Soon after, she is convinced by Hush to take another serum to restore her powers and apparently dies in the process. However, in Batman, Gotham Knights, when her grave is visited shortly thereafter, it is covered with ivy, creating the impression her death is short-lived. Shortly after, 
Poison Ivy appears briefly in Robinson Park, killing two corrupt cops who killed one of her husbands. One year later, Ivy is alive and active. Her control over Flora has increased, referred to as being in a par with Swamp Thing or Floronic Man. She also appears to have resumed her crusade against the corporate enemies of the environment with a new fanaticism. Regarding Batman no longer as a main opponent, but as hindrance. After arriving back from a year-long absence, Batman discovers that Ivy has been feeding people including tiresome lovers, incompetent henchmen, and those who returned her smile to a giant plant which would digest the victim slowly and painfully. She refers to these murders as a guilty pleasure. In an unprecedented event, her victim's souls merge with the plant, creating a botanical monster called Harvest who seeks revenge upon Poison Ivy. With the intervention of Batman, however, she is saved. 